Hey guys, I'm Satorial Phil. Welcome back to my channel. I have a more detailed review today on one of the items I picked up from my Paris haul. This is a spring summer 2019 item. So this is the Brazza wallet. This is the hinge version. And if you want to check out the other items that I got from my haul, I'll link the video to this as well. So this is the Brazza wallet. And I'm not sure what's the difference between this monogram and the regular one, but this one's called Solar Ray. But I think it's probably the same exact monogram canvas as the regular ones. But of course, what's special about this, as the name implies, it has a hinge. So you see the monogram is cut in order to wrap around a hinge, which is plastic. So it's like a plastic rod that's inside. And then there are these orange ends. So one has LV and then one is one of the flowers. And it's, a pre it's like a neon orange, but this kind of color is hard for cameras to pick up, but it is like a really fluorescent orange. And you'll notice too on the side, I'll compare this with a, the other Brazza wallet that I have. It folds a lot flat, much more flat because the canvas isn't bent on a curve since it's folded along a hinge like that. Besides the hinge, it's more or less your standard Brazza wallet, the updated version. But the interior is black leather. This zipper, the metal is black hardware as well, but it has the same thing. It has one zip pocket, and then there's a pocket in the back and in the front behind all of the credit card slots. And then this one, you have an extra slot here, and then you have a slot under here as well. And that's pretty much it. One other thing that's actually special, and I mentioned this in my unboxing or my haul video, is this actually says that this is from the runway. So the men's runway, spring, summer 2019. And I don't remember any of the Kim Jones small leather goods ever having this stamp. For the small leather goods at least, but for the bags, I know that's where you would have the stamp. And that's definitely something I look for when I collected pieces. I really liked when they actually tell you it's from a limited collection, the runway collection. And I think it makes the pieces more special. So I'm really glad that I think Virgil decided to do that. And I don't remember exactly though if the pocket or organizer or the billfold has it. My guess is probably yes. And if you know, feel free to comment below. But though I did look at the pocket organizer, but not in much detail. But yeah, the hinge, this hinge design only comes in this monogram, what they call monogram solar array with the orange hardware at the ends. It comes in the browser wallet version, the pocket organizer, and the billfold version. This one is $915 in the US. Compare that to a regular monogram browser wallet, it's $620. So it's like 50% more expensive than your regular permanent collection Brazza wallet. So definitely quite a big price difference there. That's definitely something to consider, but of course, this is a really special piece and these are made in Spain. I think a lot of their smaller leather goods now are made in Spain. I'm seeing that pop up more. And with this hinge, if you just hold one side, you can see how this would just fall down which of course doesn't happen with the regular Brazza wallet. This also allows you to actually just leave it on the table like that and have it almost like butterfly out. Same thing on the other side as well. You can actually lay it flat, which you couldn't really do with any of the Brazza wallets before this design. And I do have the Galaxy one. This is from the pre-spring collection. That's basically right before this one. I forgot exactly how much this one was. I do have a detailed video of this. I think it was probably 800 something. So this is even more expensive than this, which you can imagine because of the extra work to cut the canvas here so that it goes over the hinge and it does have the extra hardware. 
In terms of size, it's pretty much length and width is the same, but the orange hinge or the orange part here is extra, so it juts out. And then what I was saying earlier about folding flat. So when I show you them on the side, you can see that the regular Brazo wallets, which doesn't have the hinge here, is a lot thicker where it folds, whereas this one is definitely a lot flat, much more flat. It's really the zipper that's causing it to be even thicker than it probably is. If you were to somehow be able to remove this zipper or fold it under, not sure I can do that, but if you look at the bottom away from the zipper, you can see that it can actually fold even flatter. So this is both the same side because it has the gusset for the zip pocket. The leather is also different, so for the interior of I think their regular Brazo wallets and even this one, the pre-spring Monogram Galaxy. It's their textured version, which has a very similar texture to Taiga, but it's not actual Taiga leather. I think when they call it Taiga leather, it's a more expensive type of leather that they use. And this one is much more tough than the Taiga one. So I think this is just a more general one that they use in a lot of the linings for their products. You can compare that to this runway version. It uses a smooth, a really smooth leather, much softer. So that may also contribute to the price difference as well. It feels more like the Shadow used a softer, smoother black leather. And both of these both of these have the black hardware, but this one, and I think this is probably true for the regular Brazo wallets, it has the older design with the single LV there, and it's, and it's a little thicker. Whereas this one has the hollow one. More in lines with a lot of the men's bags, they use this type of hardware. Where it's not just, this is like the more modern one. And instead of the monogram, it has Louis Vuitton on it. And then I just wanted to show you the hinge a little bit more closely. I don't know with more wear as I start. I only use this once actually, but as you start opening and closing it, if that's going to cause an issue with the canvas here, because I'm sure it's glazed in between each piece so that the canvas won't start fraying, even though it's coated. But you can see how it's kind of see-through because there are some gaps, which I think is kind of cool. And again, I really like that they have the stamping down here. I think this one was a little bit more limited than the pocket organizer. So if you are thinking of collecting a piece that's a little bit more unique, I think the Brazza would be the one to go. Practicality wise though, so 
The reason why I chose this over a pocket organizer is because, believe it or not, even though I don't like to carry a lot of stuff, I use the Brazo wallet like ever since I got this one more than my pocket organizer because I've used the three pocket organizers that I've had exactly zero times. I have the reissued Utah one that I got in Vietnam. I got the, I got like a Damier, it was a pre-season or something. I got like a Damier with navy blue leather inside from this is like probably 40, three or four years ago. Still haven't used that. And then I also got the split, the monogram reflective, and I haven't used that either. But this one, even though I only got it like less than two months ago, I've actually used it a, a couple times because I like to hold it kind of like this to use it as an accessory. And I will, I'll usually just store like a few cards and cash in here and I'm pretty much good to go. I can also sandwich my phone in here. It doesn't work as well for this one though. And that's the same thing with the pocket organizer. When you have the leather one or the canvas one without the hinge, you can sandwich stuff in there and it's it can be pretty secure in your pocket. But with this one, because the hinge will just open like that, you really can't put stuff, you can't really, you probably don't want to sandwich stuff in between here because any bump and this could just fly open like that and all your stuff can drop. So that could be problematic for the pocket organizer. If you're the type of person that likes to put stuff like wallet uh, cards or cash in between here and then you close it up like that without, without actually putting it in one of these slots, I don't think the monogram hinge for the pocket organizer is gonna work for you. So that's definitely something to consider. And then just to close out this video, I'm gonna briefly show you like a close-up shot of kind of wearing it. And you'll definitely see more of this on my Instagram page as well. Because honestly, that's, if you want to check out how I wear these and how I style these, my Instagram page is probably going to be your best bet because I can post photos there. Whereas YouTube, it's really meant for more of these review videos and in-depth videos, as opposed to, I can just post a photo whenever, whenever I go out. And that's my video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos and check out my Instagram for the latest updates and exclusive contents as well as more of these try on photos and modeling photos. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.